all right guys welcome back to the another video in this video i am going to show you how to create your basin boundary using uh, your dem file in qjs so let's get it started all right guys so i have successfully loaded my dem data which is here i have downloaded the ls pulsar 12.5 meter resolution dem data and if you want to see the its geographic location so it's somewhere uh, near pohara so pohara city is here and my dem is somewhere here so now using this dem file uh, i am going to do the watershed delineation first and then uh, i am going to create my basin boundary uh, using some outlet point so to do so uh, you can simply search for uh, stream dot extract function so which is uh, available in the grass gis and then simply double click it and now you will see this window interface so from here you have to select the input map elevation map for me this is the elevation map so uh, i don't need the input map for accumulation map and then for real depression map so this these things are completely optional so i'm going to simply generate the stream network using this dim so for here so minimum flow accumulation for your stream so you can simply define your value uh, since this dam is a little bit large scale so maybe uh, i think uh, it's completely optional uh, i'm going to say it uh, if the accumulation is greater than 1500 uh, then uh, it will only define the stream network otherwise if the cell value is less than 1500 then uh, it will simply ignore the cell and uh, here uh, i want to delete the segmentation shorter than uh, shorter than some length maybe uh, for this maybe i can define 200 meter or maybe 300 meter if the stream network is less than 300 meter then uh, simply it will delete the stream network and then it will give us the only the uh, stream line which is greater than 300 uh, meter and from this advanced parameter by default it will be like this and from this advanced parameter you can select the maximum memory to use so for me i think uh, i have 32 gb ram so maybe i can give it uh, 16 gb which is uh, 16000 uh, more or less it's uh, 16 GB RAM 16000 uh, MB and now I can click the round button to uh, process my stream network it might take some time depending on your computer so let's let's see how much time it will take maybe I'll pause the video and then restart when it's done all right so for me it take around i think uh, one and a half minute so it's done and if you check the output so it will generate the three outputs which are temporary raster you can see it uh, this icon that means it's the i think vrt file or just the temporary file because it's uh, vector data is also here so this is the unique stream id so this means um, this is the stream id where uh, two stream will connect and then uh, this is the follow direction map and uh, it's also not the not the what we want uh, actual uh, final output but if you see the unique stream ids raster file so this is uh, which we are interested in so if you zoom in the map so maybe uh, using this tool okay and then here so you will see the different streams so based on our elevation surface it will simply generate uh, the stream network uh, uh, by which our water will follow 
all right so looks good so this is also not our uh, final output because it's the raster format anyway we need uh, this file in the vector one so it's not the uh, final output so now we are uh, going to generate the uh, our basin boundary based on the outlet point so maybe for this uh, purpose maybe i can simply define my output uh, outlet somewhere here so let me see my base map first so this is my uh, Marsandi river so uh, uh, in this Marsangdi river maybe I can define somewhere uh, in the Marsangdi river I can uh, simply define my outlet point and then uh, see how how my basin structure will uh, look like basin means uh, which uh, cells are affecting this uh, to get this river I mean which uh, streamlines contribute to the uh, this uh, Marsang the river so yeah if you have the larger dam file I mean the uh, dam covering a uh, whole area then uh, it will uh, look more good but uh, recently we have this dam just covering uh, some small portion of this river so maybe uh, I can generate somewhere here uh, in the Marsang the river so to generate the okay to generate the uh, our uh, basin boundary so you can simply search outlet r.water.outlet and then double click it and maybe i'll simply click our streamline tool and then uh, i need to zoom more into this section and then here uh, so the direction drainage direction raster it's the follow direction raster and then the coordinate of the outlet point that means for for now to generate simply the basin for this river so I'm going to click this point uh, I click this point that means uh, it's uh, I, I defined this is my outlet point uh, for my uh, water set so now simply hit run and then it will uh, hopefully create us the basin boundary but of course if you know the actual location of the outlet then simply you need to click on that streamline uh, stream means uh, simply this uh, cells this unique stream id raster cell and then you can generate the actual boundary but for now i'm just testing with uh, testing it with uh, some random point all right now you can see our boundary is generated so there is some small issue unable to open data set don't worry this is simply the database related issue no need to worry about this so if you run it successfully you will see the uh, ender file called basin and then you can simply click and then zoom to layer right so right now uh, whenever i try to generate the basin boundary for uh, this particular outlet point uh, so it is look like this so this much region is contributed to this uh, river at this location so if you uh, notice here so here is some cut cut off file i mean some portion of the boundary is simply um, chunked i mean cut so this is due to our uh, original dam so in our dam we have dam up to this level but actually whenever we generate this basin boundary we found that um, this uh, for this particular point actually uh, there is some stream network somewhere here as well maybe up to this point but uh, yeah anyway the basic process for generating the boundary is like this and of course this is the temporary raster so maybe uh, you might need to uh, need to change it to the vector so to change it uh, you can simply type vct 
and then you will see uh, add dot to dot vector. So this function is available from grass. So simply click this and then uh, feature type is area because it's the polygon feature and then this is basin and then simply hit run. All right, so now you will get the basin boundary. So if I turn off all the other things, maybe like this, and uh, you will see the our stream network as well. Maybe in the property, I'll simply make it transparent. Maybe simply fill and then fill color to the fully transparent one. Okay, simply apply it, okay. So if you zoom to this location, so uh, this is my uh, Morsangdi river and then these are the stream contributed to this Morsangdi river. But of course some portion of our raster is uh, cut off. So that means uh, I think I need to download the other chunk of a uh, dem file and then simply merge both dem file and then again run the same, uh, same r.2.stream function yeah so similarly you can uh, by default this stream network is the uh, raster file so simply you can change this stream to the vector as well so simply run this function and then this time input raster will be unique stream id uh, which is the raster one not the vector one <laughs> Okay, and then uh, stream of course it will be line feature and then hit run. All right, so now you can see all the our raster cell is converted to vector, and then uh, of course you can see the attribute table as well so here in the attribute table this value column denote the uh, number of cell contributed to this particular stream and then uh, other things are the default things so no need to worry so right now we have the basin boundary uh, which is this one maybe uh, i can change the color to the maybe red Okay, this is my basin boundary and then these are the contributed stream within this basin. Of course, this uh, number of stream, I mean the stream network really, really depend on the uh, number that you, yes, okay, that you defined uh, here. So this minimum follow accumulation and then the uh, delete stream segmentation shorter than value so these two values really really uh, defined how dense is your stream network and then uh, how much stream do you want so yeah in this way you can simply generate your basin boundary and then also the stream network of course if you want to save these files in a save file simply click uh, here and then uh, make export and save feature is and then you can define your location and then simply write basin.shp and then hit run but i don't want to save it uh, just uh, to demonstrate to you so uh, yeah in this way you can simply save your uh, basin boundary and also the stream network and uh, yeah that's the way of uh, driving basin boundary so I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.